This hairdo is called Need to Get My Roots Done. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. It's Janet and if you're new here make sure you hit that red subscribe button Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell So YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video and if you're one of my returning subscribers Thank you so much for being here doing all the likes comments. I love chatting with you guys in the comments I always respond to everybody so make sure that you give me a comment I would love to hear from you and welcome back to all my returning subscribers I have gotten a lot of questions probably every week I at least get this question and the question is can you use protein powder instead of your egg white protein powder so I have never tried it so I thought experimental video and we will both be learning something and we will be trying to use the protein powder instead of the egg white protein powder so that is what today's video is going to be all about strictly 100% experimental I am going to utilize this bread no matter how it turns out. Um, I We don't waste, like as a family, we do not waste anything. As most of you know who have been here for a long time, we are hunters and we hunt for deer and elk. And recently we just purchased a pig and Jimmy butchered the pig and we utilize literally everything off of that pig. We also have chickens where we get fresh farm eggs from. So you know what, we don't, we use absolutely everything. Jimmy and I are both the same kind of mindset with that, that we waste nothing everything that goes in the fridge you need you know you see a lot of people throwing out produce i try to keep up on my produce so that i'm not throwing it out i know a cucumber will only cost me a dollar but you know what that dollar every week adds up that's just how jimmy and i are um we definitely pinch our pennies we watch um our money we make sure that we're utilizing everything and that is one thing as well like i mentioned for grocery shopping um since i did the pantry and freezer challenge at the beginning of the year i only buy mainly what we need my last grocery haul was fairly large because i did need to stock up on a lot of snacks for jimmy and zoe um, but for the most part you know what i just buy fresh produce throughout the week and that's pretty much it i um i freeze a lot i utilize a lot of things so i just went off on a totally different topic but we are going to be making some of the protein sparing modified fast bread using protein powder now a lot of people have said well a lot of people a few people i have heard through the grapevine that whey protein powder is not an efficient way to lose weight uh, you know what, I don't know if that's true or not. I'm just going from what I've heard. I have a feeling that maybe some people react to whey a little bit different than the egg white protein powder. Um, so if you are sensitive to whey protein, you know, make sure you're not trying this recipe. This is just strictly for me to try out because I am curious just as you guys are. I get a lot of questions and to be honest, I am genuinely curious if this will work as well too. So let's get started on our whey protein bread <laughs> all right so the only thing that i am going to be changing in my recipe is i am going to be using the vega sport vanilla protein powder i do have protein powder but of course it's mocha flavored and chocolate flavored so i just bought these little packs of vanilla to give it a try i'm going to be using the same measurement as my egg white protein which is a third of a cup I don't know if that's right or wrong. I don't know if this is gonna work, but that's the only thing that I'm going to be substituting is the protein powder instead of the egg white protein powder. Okay, so let's get started. I've made this recipe lots of times. I think I show it on every video that I make now. Um, I always have my recipe link down below for the protein spray modified fast bread that I've been using. We are gonna do the exact same, same thing today, but use this. So let's get started. Let me grab my egg whites. All right, so I have my oven preheating to 325. My temperature I'm going to be leaving the same as well. I do a cup of egg whites. Now, you can do either the um, like fresh or you can do the carton. I use the carton and still get pretty good results. Um, we just have, like I mentioned, we have chickens. So I tend to kind of save those eggs for like um, meals, like when I'm having like bacon and eggs. I need to open up my other carton. I'm just a little bit short. So anyways, like I was saying, we tend to keep our farm fresh eggs. I actually keep them here 
in a little basket so that is what we do we just keep our we don't wash them or anything because they stay longer unwashed um, but one of our chickens are laying but our other one is still having trouble she has like really soft shells even though we kind of been su supplementing her but um we kind of cherish our farm bags so that's why i use carton now you feel free to buy like the big trays that they have at costco definitely that would probably be useful as well and i might do that just so that i can have like especially if i'm making like a loaf of bread with this um like the protein sparing modified fast loaf then I highly recommend, a lot of people are having better luck with the um, egg whites from eggs. But to be honest, I don't make a lot of bread. Like the only thing that I do make on a regular basis is my cinnamon sugar bread. That I make every week and I have that every week. <laughs> I have that every day is my cinnamon sugar bread. I will link that recipe here if you haven't seen that video yet, but I'm telling you, it is absolutely delicious. All right, let's whip these up. I'm going to actually time how long I whip these. I get a lot of questions on that as well too, so let's get started. We gotta plug it in. <laughs> oh, Janet. Okay, there we go. Now let's get started. Oh my gosh. I gotta lock my <laughs> oh no okay this is not off to a good start we gotta lock in our little uh nobody told me to settle down day nights and late nights don't get around but there's something about you something about you I like, about you I like. You're crazy for saying I should slow down. All right, that has been exactly four minutes. So this is what you want. I hope you can see that. Like that is some really, really stiff peaks. Like that is what you want. You can't expect it to really turn out really good if you only whip it for a minute or two. Like you might think that you're gonna over whip it, but I would go for four or five minutes. That's usually what I go. Sometimes I've even gone up to seven minutes. You kind of definitely wanna make sure that you have some stiff peaks. Okay, I'm going to quickly make this because I wanted to wait until I was done that, but I'm gonna make this quickly and so my um, peaks don't fall, but I'm using a third of the cup of the vanilla protein whey. So I'm not sure exactly how much is in this, this container. That's why I bought two. Oh yeah, this looks like it'll be a third. It's just over a third because there's a little bit left in here. All right. And all of my other ingredients will stay the same. So a tablespoon of nutritional yeast, a splash of Redmond's Real Salt, and we are gonna use two tablespoons of allulose, And an eighth of a teaspoon, sorry I'm going fast, but I don't want my peaks to fall. An eighth, or sorry, yeah, an eighth of a teaspoon of xanthan gum. I have this recipe in the description as well too. I know I'm going really fast. And also I use a little bit of the active yeast, okay? Just to give a little bit of more flavor. Uh, come on, open up, there we go. So I'll just put a little bit in there, there we go. Perfect. Okay, and that is it. What I usually do is I just give it a stir right in the bowl, and then I slowly add it to my mixture on low. Now you can fold it in as well too. Everybody has different ways, but this is what I'm going to do. Smells good. Smells really good. Okay, I'm gonna put this on a little bit higher just to mix everything, get my spatula. All right, I'm gonna fold in the rest. Now, I know a lot of people like to fold it in for that reason because sometimes it will fall. I usually have my um, dry ingredients all ready to go when I'm done whipping my egg whites, so 
but this time I just want to show you what I was incorporating and putting in there. Okay, so I'm just gonna make sure that this is all well combined. Just kind of fold it all together. This smells really, really good though. I think it's the vanilla. Okay, I have my silicone dish right here. I love these dishes. I got a whole set off of Amazon. Um, I have linked a similar set in my Amazon favorites because this one went up on me in price because it was $26. I got a huge, huge set, but then it jumped up pretty much double. So I had linked a similar set. Hopefully it'll it's still reasonably priced. I will have to double check that. Um, but definitely check it out. They are the best thing ever. I use it for all of my baking, not only all of this protein sparing modified fast stuff, but I use it for absolutely everything because then I don't have to worry about making sure that there's enough oil and putting all of that on there and getting it completely caked with olive oil and it still looks good. Okay, so my oven is preheated to 325. I'm going to put this in there for 30 minutes, the same amount of time. And then I'm going to leave it in my oven for 10 minutes. Let's put it in the oven and hope for the best, you guys. I am going to show you through the window of the oven. We are at the 10 minute mark, okay? So let me show you. Now, I'm not gonna open up the wind or the door at all because that definitely makes it, um, makes it fall, but hopefully you guys can see it. I'll try to zoom in a little bit. And it looks pretty good. It looks like it's um, growing a little bit, like in height, but not too, too much. Definitely not as much as the Wonder Bread would, but I will check in in another probably 10 minutes and then at the 30 right, minute mark. We are at the 20 minute mark. Let's check on our bread. Oh no. That is what we're looking at. <laughs> All right. Well, it has deflated. So I've heard that that happens a lot once you use the whey protein powder, um, but everybody says the taste is still really good. Um, but I will get back to you. I will take another video at the 30 minute mark. That is when we are going to be shutting our oven completely off and we are gonna leave our bread in the oven for those 10 minutes. So I will check back with you in, well, for you it'll be the next second, but for me it'll be 10 minutes. All right, we are at the 30 minute mark, so I will show you guys how it looks and then I'm going to be turning the oven off, so let's have a peek. Oh no, I'll try to zoom in, sorry, my window, you know what, this window always is dirty. Apparently you can take apart the two panels to clean, uh, but look at that, it is, it is sunken in so much. All right, I'm going to turn off my oven and I am going to let it sit in there for 10 minutes and then we will take it out and then I'm gonna completely let it cool before I slice into it. So um, I will let you see the final result when I take it out when it is going to um, be set to cool. I'm just about to take it out of the oven. So let me grab it out of the oven here. It's been 10 minutes. Gosh, that allulose makes a huge difference on how brown it gets. All right. <laughs> oh no. You know what? This is, it's pretty flat. As you can see, like when I bring it vertically, there's, it's sunken in. So what I'm going to do is I am going to completely let this um, cool. Jimmy and I actually have to go to town because he has to get a haircut. So I will take it apart when I come back home, which will probably be in a couple of hours. And then we will um, take it out of here, slice it up, see what it looks like on the inside. And then I will also share the full macros. Now, when I figure out the macros for you guys, I completely write down everything. So we will do that as well in the next clip, all right? So wanted to go over the macros does make that if they are um, I don't know they are allergic to the egg white protein powder or for whatever reason um, I figured out the exact macros um, the protein powder the calories the fat carbs and the protein um, I did the nutritional yeast the xanthan gum the egg whites and then for the whole loaf it was 291 calories 
three fat, 9.5 carbs, and 62.5 protein. Now, I wasn't sure how many slices that would make, but it made uh, eight. So let me just figure out the math, and then I will let you know per slice. All right, so I have figured it out. So as you can see, I divided by eight per slice. It is 36 calories. 0.4 fat, 1.2 carbs, this is total carbs by the way, and 7.8 protein. So that is per slice for your vanilla protein powder bread if you choose to try it. Um, like I said, it wasn't the best, but you know, it's definitely edible. <laughs> Let's leave it at that. So just wanted to show you all the macros for that bread. Alright, experiment. The bread is out of the container. I made this with protein powder. Jimmy, are you going to taste it? No, I can't. I'm fasting. You haven't started fasting. You start at midnight. Yeah. And then I am going to give it a taste. I think this bread isn't meant to be like as bread for a sandwich, obviously. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but this is the texture. The texture it looks pretty good. It actually kind of reminds me of like a loaf. I'm, I'm doubted that it tastes like a loaf, but I'm going to give it a taste. So he's busy eating McDonald's fries right now. And it's Jimmy, poutine. oh poutine, sorry. And Jimmy had an A&W burger and fries on the way home. So I didn't have anything because today is a high protein day, but I am going to taste this. So let's give it a taste test. How is it? It's actually not bad. Actually? Or is it not bad? I don't know. It needs flavor. So it's keto. <laughs> it's not horrible, but I don't think I would recommend it. Put some ketchup. I'll utilize it some way. It's not horrible, but I wouldn't I wouldn't make it again. See if the chicken, I'll be honest. See if the chickens will eat it. <laughs> Anyways, I wanted to be the guinea pig to try this out because I do have a lot of subscribers asking if they can substitute the whey protein powder. And yes, the you. The answer is no. Yes, yeah, I would, we know the answer, ladies and gentlemen. No. I would say I would say you can, but um, I wouldn't make this again, and I probably wouldn't suggest that you try it instead Don't of do it. no, instead of the egg white powder. That's the way to go. Jimmy, you're not, you won't like it. I know you won't like it. Well, I'm not going to try it. Try it. Yeah, me with a bad heart. <laughs> Everything's with Jimmy with a bad heart. <laughs> um, but anyways, I wanted to try and be the guinea pig for you guys. So the experiment is all done. Now at least I know the answer because I wasn't sure if it could be done or not and exactly how it tasted. But um, probably would just stick to the regular protein sparing modified fast bread and just stick to that recipe and you know there's lots of places now where you can find the egg white protein powder i know in the u.s it's on amazon here in canada i have found a website iherb that carries it um, i will have that linked in the description but definitely i would stick to the egg white protein powder so i hope you enjoyed this video and my little experiment. So make sure you hit that red subscribe button. Give this video a like to let me know that you're liking my content and don't forget to hit that notification bell so YouTube can notify you when I upload a new video. Thanks for watching.